Hey guys, it's me P and it has been a hot second. I was actually just thinking about wanting to film this video because I posted a coming out story um, literally around a year ago to this day. Like, I think I posted on May 25th. I don't know what I'm doing. Why did I decide to do this? I'm bisexual. A lot of people can relate to this. I kind of experienced my coming out process or realizing like, okay, this could actually be a real thing was when I actually caught feelings for one of my best friends. It's kind of crazy to think like a year ago. Yeah, I released that and that was like a big step for me um, in terms of just like, you know, staying true to myself. And that was the first time I had really announced anything like that, obviously on the internet. Since then I've haven't really posted a lot of LGBT content and that's something I definitely really really want to change especially because I've kind of been learning so much more about myself within the time I posted that video literally till now. I think back then I was really really focused on putting a label on myself like for so long I was like very confused so in my head about my feelings and just wanting to be like Okay, you're bisexual, this obviously makes sense. You like guys and you like girls. But as the year has gone on, I'm definitely like much more romantically and physically attracted to women. And that's kind of been a really big deal for me, um, kind of coming to terms with that throughout the year because I think it just makes me go into situations really knowing what I want and kind of just discovering that new part about myself and it feels so refreshing. I think it's just best for me to now maybe say I'm queer or, or I'm gay, but also not to like put so much pressure on having a label. I don't know. I just think it's your life and um, just stay true to yourself. I could be very romantically attracted to a guy and I would like them. I love their personality, but then I just always found there was like something missing. I've just been going through a lot over the year and nothing really bad, just literally just discovery and just kind of looking back at my past experiences with people that I've dated or had feelings for and it's like all comes full circle and it just kind of makes sense. I'm very proud of myself for uploading that video a year ago and telling my story and my truth because all of that is completely true. Now I just want to fully be as real as possible and um, have this like outlet to kind of say like yeah, you know what? I do like, I like girls more and um, I really want to kind of get more involved with more, you know, like LGBT events or even kind of meeting some more queer people. Honestly, I don't know a lot of like queer people in the city or have a really close group of friends in Toronto that are queer. Once all of this is over and quarantine is done and we can actually go out and socialize with other people outside of our household, like, I do want to put myself out there a little bit more. I would love to meet more people and like talk about similar experiences, talk about stories, whatever it is. Like, I'm friendly, I'm here, and um, <laughs> oh, this feels so awkward to like film. That's just where I'm at. I, I hadn't even thought about my bisexual coming out video just because I feel like with the way 2020 has been going anyway, time has just been as much as it's been kind of slow and it's dragging on, I feel like days just do go by really fast. And before we knew it, we were already in May. And um, as I was kind of thinking more just being by myself and also being in quarantine and being single, you have all the time in the world to kind of like evaluate things, you evaluate relationships. At least that's what I was doing and it felt good. What are like certain patterns I kind of hold on to and how can I move forward from that? And what is it that I actually maybe really want in a partner? I would literally write it down just, just for my own like thoughts, my own like personal thoughts. And it, a lot of it was like, when I envisioned it, it was definitely with a woman. I'm thinking that's what, that's what my future would hold. And I'm very excited because I feel like this is the first time that I've been very open about kind of like saying it. You identify with how you want to identify no one knows what you feel other than yourself. You can label yourself. You can choose not to label yourself. Label the. I think just for me, this is who I am and I like girls. 
so yeah, I think I want to conclude it there and just say that more content is coming up and um, I really hope that everyone stays really, really safe and is still social distancing because even though the weather is really nice and, you know, it's tempting to want to like go out, just avoid like large gatherings. It's important to get outside and get some sun, but remember to stay away. Still stay away from people and wear your masks. Thank you. For listening to me ramble if anyone was even watching this it's okay if you didn't um but yeah hopefully you'll hear from me sometime soon